welcome students today we are going to discuss about the practicals of reform fifth sem that is first practical reformulation studies of paracetamol okay so what do you mean by reformulation study first we we are going to study the granules of reformulation studies of the granules of paracetamol okay first everyone you should know that uh, reformulation study is the most important part of the drug or drug formulation study okay so in this reformulation studies what we have to consider what points we have to consider for the study is first one is the particle size second one bulk density then tap density then angular repose then Hirschsperg ratio then Kurtz index then moisture content okay so these are the parts we are going to discuss in this session uh, that is given in the blackboard okay first one is the particle size how can we determine the particle size first we are taking the particular granules you know that the granules are there are two types of granules we are found that is wet granules and dry granules okay so uh, wet granules are prepared with the help of wet binders okay so here we are going to so, uh, check the particle size of the granules with the help of microscope then we are checking the bulk density of that particular granules in a measuring cylinder okay i will give all the every discussions uh, we are i will show the all videos of how to calculate particle size bulk density tap density angle of repose Hirschfeld ratio curves index and moisture content okay so let's start with the practicals okay <clears throat> so for the organoleptic characteristics we have to change the color order taste of a new drug okay so we have to go for the color order and taste so this is the main part of the organoleptic properties so what is the color we can observe we can observe color it may be off-white it may be creamy yellow then tan and shiny okay so these are the colors we can see next order so what are the orders we can uh, by smelling them we can we can identify what kind of order that particular uh, tablets are there okay so it is pungent then sulfurous then fruity then aromatic or odorless okay so next come to the taste so taste is mainly acidic bitter bland intense sweet or tasteless okay so these are the main characteristics of organoleptic properties that means organoleptic characteristics we have to determine okay by observing visually or physically we can conclude that particle size so how can you determine the particle size the particle size is characterized by using three terms okay that is very coarse next is coarse then moderate coarse then fine and very fine so these are the main uh, characteristics of the particle size okay so particle size can be influenced by various important factors so these important factors are dissolution rate suspendability uniform uniform distribution then penetrability and lack of grittiness so these are the main factors for the particle size determination okay <clears throat> so how can you determine the particle size i have seen that already i have shown that how can you determine the particle size so particle size by sieving method we can go for the particle size determination okay that is sieving method that is 5 micron to 150 micron another one is microscopic particle size determination that is 0 0.2 micron to 100 micron then sedimentation rate method that is 1 micron to 200 micron and light MR energy dif uh, diffraction that is 0 0.5 to 500 micron then lesser holography that is 1.4 
micron to 100 micron now we are using here for our practical purpose we are using the sieving method for particle size for the characterization of solid forms for the analytical method so we can go for the microscopy then hot stage microscopy thermal analysis x-ray diffraction then infrared spectroscopy etc etc so these are the techniques you have seen that we can go for the physical characterization of solid forms so crystallinity habit is means the crystal habit and internal structure of the drug can be affected bulk and physical properties of the molecule already we have noted that means what is the size and shape mainly the shape okay if the shape shape determines the properties of the particular drug it may be crystal it may be amorphous or it may be powder like that okay so crystal habit it describes the outer appearance of the crystal okay so internal structure is the molecular arrangement within the solid okay so change with the internal structure alters crystal habit if we change the internal structure of the molecule we can change the crystal habit of the particular molecule <clears throat> so you can see that the different types of that is shapes of crystals are there okay first one you can see that cubic then tetragonal then tricyclic then uh, orthombic okay then hexagonal <clears throat> then monocyclic then trigonal so these are the types of that means you can observe So, how can we determine the powder flow properties? Okay, so by calculating the angle of repose, we can determine the powder flow properties. Okay, so I have demonstrated I have demonstrated the powder. How how can we determine the angle of repose? Okay, so so powder flow properties is mainly calculated by calculating of angle of repose so you can see the table that from lesser if angle of degree of angle of repose is less than 25 then type of flow properties is excellent okay so how can we determine the angle of repose the formula is tan theta is equal to h by r where theta is the angle of repose and h is the height of the pile and r is the radius okay so in video i have seen i have already seen uh, demonstrate that how what is the height of the pile if you uh, in a tripod stand if you put one funnel and we are passing the allow the granules to pass through the funnel and it falls down in the surface okay and what is the how much that means radius that is covered by the particular granules in the surface that is the radius of the total that is the total radius and height of the pile means how much height the total that means drugs are up to how much height that is the height of the pile so next come to the table if the angle of repose in bit yeah, that means lesser than 25 25 then the type of flow is excellent okay next if it is in between 25 to 30 then the type of flow properties is very good now it is in between 30 to 40 the angle of repose is in between 30 to 40 then the flow property is possible okay and if it is greater than 40 then the type of flow properties is very poor so after uh, by determination of angular repose we can check the flow properties of the powder that means if it is less than 25 then we can conclude that 
the flow property of the particular renewals or particular drug substance is very that means action we can calculate the range between 25 to 30 also because it is good but from 30 to 40 range it may arise some risks in case of the compression okay in the preparation of the tablet composition okay so th this is all about the flow properties and how can you calculate the angle of repose so you can see there okay for the method of calculation of angle of repose you can see that that is the peel of the height and this is the radius okay this is the radius you can see and this is the peel of the height so this angle is called as the angle of repose